imagine one day you wake up and you eat certain kind of foods that you grew up eating and all of a sudden you feel sick you feel sluggish you feel bloated you feel stomach cramps acid reflux and all these other symptoms that i've listed there on the screen well that is me i got to learn a few years back that i was gluten and lactose intolerance and for this longest time i ignored it i knew if i eat certain food i would feel sick i would feel sluggish i would feel exhausted i started to have acne i started to have hormone imbalance but all of that changed after my second pregnancy i decided you know what it was time to actually start taking my health serious the older you get the more certain things start to deteriorate and you just cannot ignore it anymore so today i decided to share this journey with you with the hope that it can help someone else i am going to spa today to look for products that are gluten free and lactose free this is one of the shops that i've honestly never taken serious to have a look around to see what they have but today i decided you know what let's go and see what they have so let's see starting with the bread they have this brown bread gluten free and those are the ingredients and i'm so happy that they didn't use any milk powder or anything and they also have these gluten free wraps these ones i have personally tried it and they also have their very own gluten free wraps i have never tried them but i am willing to try them and they're not that costly to be honest because these products are actually quite costly because they are quite scarce and those are the ingredients but overall guys be very careful when you check don't just get excited when you see gluten free also make sure that you check for lactose free if you have lactose intolerance like me but yeah these are the other different kinds of products that they have these are the morning um the, the granulas which i personally haven't tried them am willing to try them but i am very specific on what i want to try this is a series by the way so i will do a review of different shops and the different gluten-free and the lactose-free products that they do have when it comes to cookies i am very careful to not get too excited because most of the cookies they eat they either use milk powder or they just use milk so be very careful if you are also lactose intolerant like me otherwise when it comes to gluten they may be good to go and they also do have breakfast cereals as you can see these are also common with what i have seen also at this camp but yeah um you can try and be and do your own judgment but overall i thought they had great products some were a little bit overpriced some were quite priced good which is good like those classic waffles i would definitely love to try them because i haven't had waffles in a long time or if i have them with a the normal flour then i get sick look at that they have the dairy free and the egg free for those who want to try if you want to bake a cake for your birthday um definitely if you want to bake muffins if you also want to do waffles uh, i love the fact that they had different options for dairy free so i will be trying those out today i wasn't buying i only bought bread i was just reviewing for you guys but i will do series where i'll buy certain products and i will try out their recipes and i'll do their stuff and i'll just review it for you guys that we can see but it feels so good to finally be catered for because for the longest time gluten-free you couldn't find them at the shop and it was so frustrating because sometimes you just miss eating certain things like bread and stuff like that so yeah they definitely do have good products and for snacks they had uh, gluten-free chips i haven't tried these ones and they also have rice cakes i personally use the ones from Discam, which i am still going to do, to do a review on but i think i'll be buying a few products here when i get paid so that we can definitely try them out and if you want to bake they do have different kinds of flowers and quinoa also which i have personally tried and i love it so yeah after that i decided to also show you guys some of the gluten-free spices that i use because you have to remember as much as you may cook something that is gluten free but if you use spices that do have gluten for some people it can trigger their symptoms so these are the different spices that they have they will have spices for meat for fish for pasta different spices i have tried ones for vegetables and for pasta and for fish and to be honest with you they taste amazing so you can definitely try out those products after that i left spa 
and decided to go to this other small shop that i usually go to to buy my fruits and vegetables and to be honest with you they are actually quite affordable quite cheap and i love the fact that their fruits last longer one of the things that i also love about the shop is they also do have a lot of gluten-free products so i will also be showing you guys those products and review them for you they did say they do have two branches right now which is at north cliff and here so you can google the shop it's called impala definitely impala fruits and veggies they have most amazing freshest vegetables and fruits so there i am just buying a few things that i need for the week and they had a special for blueberry and strawberries i think two blueberries were about 50 rand and three strawberries were about 60 bucks which was a good deal because their fruits were quite fresh so that's just me showing you guys the different things that i am buying but overall guys please try this shop if you are anywhere near it definitely do give it a try they have the most amazing and i love the fact that their shop is always so clean you know some shops you buy fruits and veggies and they rot within a week this shop to be honest with you i don't know how they do it but their stuff are fresh and as you can see they actually do have those gluten-free wraps that we saw at spa and here they're actually 60 bucks whereas at spa they were 70 and this gluten-free basmati rice is one of the best rice that i've ever had after eating it i honestly don't feel bloated i don't feel sluggish i actually do feel full for longer which is such a good thing and here i was just showing you the different other kinds of products that they have um they cater for low cap all these different kinds of lifestyle that people have but i was so excited to see this gluten-free pasta i cannot wait to one day try it and give it a review but yeah guys i'm so excited that they are now starting to cater for us more which is so good because you could hardly ever find any gluten-free products in the shop which were legit which is so good and look at this they have the lasagna shit guys one day i will be cooking it and i will definitely give it a review and show it to you guys but overall um they also do have the same spices that they had at spa which is exciting and there are these prego sauce which i am telling you guys they are the best they don't have any lactose they don't have any sugar extra sugar which is so good i have personally tried a few of them but i'll be trying out more of them because i do like their products after that i went to check the dairy free milk i personally prefer the almond breeze but as you can see there are different options that you can try out there so i decided to get a few vegetables that i needed for home and as you can see guys everything is packed so nice so neatly i usually prefer to come here in the morning because i know i get the freshest food when they're still packing which is so good uh and you won't believe this guys the total of all of this was actually 186 and 14 cents i mean come on come on now we all know if this was other shops how much we would have spent right just for those vegetables but anywho we're not about that life this is me now going home and this is the bread from spa that i got that i will be reviewing so this is me when i'm not bloated when i'm not eating gluten or lactose i feel great i don't have any bloating issues but one wrong move and i look three months pregnant i swear <laughs> but i will be reviewing this bread with you guys today let's see how it tastes and yeah
for the big moment. It does taste like bread, definitely. Better than what I've tasted before. I definitely think I like it. Mm. It tastes so nice, guys. You should definitely give it a try. Mm. I haven't had bread in such a long time, so don't be surprised, guys. <laughs>